it's December 6th. <laughs> I'm so, 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 so tired. I'm big tired. Um, that's my cat sneezing into the camera. Anyway, got to go to church. Um, I teach Sunday school. And I'm going to try and upload my other video before I go. But most likely, <laughs> just going to Sunday school. Church, as always, um, I'm never like really, really late, but I have a morning meeting before church and I'm just picking up my coffee and running in. Today's going to be a weird day. I can already feel it. Church, it was my turn to do the devotional in front of the group and I did my devotional on anxiety and the idea that speaking in front of the whole group was the worst thing for me. And yet I prayed about it and the first week I was supposed to do it. Um, I prayed <laughs> and someone else just went up and did theirs instead so I didn't even have to do it it was ideal it was the best I was like oh my gosh I got, I just got out of this I don't have to do this but um, the leader came up to me and was like it was your week and I was like I know so uh, we decided that I would do it this week and it went well um, I had a little bit more practice and I I did my devotional and they gave me this hat and as a present they give you little presents after and they're always different and they picked a knit hat for me I thought that was the sweetest thing so it went well and at church I taught the three-year-olds today about the birth of Christ and they love stories so it was really easy and I love doing it it's one of those things that as my therapist says it just fills your cup uh, it makes you feel a little bit better about life it gives you that that um, Fulfill, fulfilled feeling so that was really good too. I ended up dyeing my ends red and green for Christmas and I'll put in a clip I was pretty proud of it in the morning but right now it just looks kind of muddy brown and then I got to do my absolute favorite thing which was go to Maddie's house made by Maddie here on YouTube and we just sat and knitted all day. We watched the entire Gilmore Girls revival, which we've done multiple times. Gilmore Girls is the best. And I finished up my mom's sweater body. I bound off. I did a split, split hem. I think that's what they call it. A split hem with the back hem being a little bit longer on my flax. It's, I'm just modifying the pattern to be what I want it to be but it was a very simple modification and I'll put in a picture of that. And I also knit on my cozy knitter socks and I'll put in a picture of that. So I have six stripes and I wound up two balls of Christmas yarn, red and green. I think the red is called Mustang Sally and the green is called Praying Mantis. So they're actually not Christmas yarns, but they're definitely Christmas colorways and they're very sparkly and pretty. And I'm gonna do a Christmassy pair of socks, maybe two. Christmas yarn in this video I'm gonna go ahead and insert the two additional colorways I purchased from Arkansas Yarn Co which are Cindy Lou Achu and Grinchmas. Grinchmas is her Christmas colorway every year this is version 4 and it's one of them that I love I only got the last year's because that was the first year I found out about Arkansas Yarn Co so I had Grinch Grinchmas 3.0 and now I have Grinchmas 4.0 and I love them picked out yarn for two well it's actually just one for a pom-pom hat 
a, a bulky pom-pom hat for a friend who lives in the snow and she wanted a double pom-pom hat but she couldn't find one that she liked that was for adults so I'm gonna make her one and it's out of a very chunky pink and blue um, lion brand home brand hometown and so I'll put in a clip of that from Arkansas Yarn Co. actually made the pom-poms herself and I, I got them there. Um, she's just, she loves sparkles. I love her so much. Maddie's mini paper cutter to make little letters and Karen use tags for the socks that we're giving to my mom's friend. So I just cut out his first initial, which is A for Andrew. And then I cut out a little like it's like two by four, maybe two by three, a very small little tag. And I hole punched them, pinned them together, stuck them on the sock. And on the back, I wrote to hand wash or machine wash cold only and to hang to dry or cry. I think I put so that he knows what's up and I put the wool content so that he knows. So it's a really cute idea. She did it for her family. She didn't write the care and use, but she put the little name tags. It's so cute. So I'll put in a picture of that. Advent and I loved it. It looks like snow. It's called the terrible year and Lori is so funny. She she called it the terrible year, which is part of the movie the Year without a Santa Claus. That's right and inside the yarn was a little hand sanitizer This said the terrible year and I immediately was like she's making a joke about how terrible 2020 is and I love it It's so funny Oh, but I didn't post the pictures from yesterday or today, so I'll go ahead and just insert a picture. just gonna be a short one Sundays are hard I can't film the kids so I'm done uh, vlogmas day six in the books thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time